If you ever find yourself stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire, you need to know how to take off the bad tire and put on a spare. So in this video, I'm going to show you the steps of how to do exactly that. Here I actually have a 2021 Dodge Charger, which is a rental car that Jay's got since Jay's Challenger got hit. Um, so I'm going to show you specifically where the spare tire is, where the jack and the lug wrench are on this car, but it'll be very similar for all cars of where all those things are and how to do this. So the first step, we gotta go to the trunk. There's gonna be a small button hidden next to the E for you to open the trunk of your Dodge Charger if you have that, or otherwise you might have a button up on the dashboard or might just have a latch right here. Inside, you'll be able to see that there's nothing here. The spare tire is gonna be hidden under a little uh, platform. This is basically a fake floor, and then under that, you'll have the spare tire. This, will, this is where you'll find your jack and your lug wrench most of the time. In certain cars, the jack and the lug wrench will actually be in other places, like sometimes they're tucked up into the wall of your car. Um, but they'll always be in the trunk area. So your spare tire should be locked down by a nut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that nut off and get the spare tire out. The jack in the car is actually right under the spare tire. You can see it's locked down here as well with this nut. Here's our lug wrench. So I'm gonna put that to the side for a second. And here is the jack. So the first step is gonna be starting to loosen the lug nuts. When you're using a hand wrench or a, or a lug wrench like this, you won't be able to loosen the lug nuts after you've lifted the car off the ground. So you gotta do it before you put the jack under. So I'm not actually gonna loosen the lug nuts all the way. I'm not gonna take them all the way off. I'm just going to break them loose so that I can then loosen them with by hand uh, once the car is off the ground. So just put your lug wrench over the lug nut and pull to the left. Shouldn't be too hard to loosen on most cars, but sometimes they'll be torqued down a lot. So you gotta put a lot of pressure into it. And now that I've broken down all five, I'm gonna get the jack and we're gonna lift up the car. Most cars will have a jack inside of them that looks like this. It's a little funky shaped and you might not know exactly how it works immediately, but basically this bolt all, that goes all the way through is going to raise and lower the top part here. So if I twist it to the left, it's gonna lower the jack. And if I twist it to the right, it'll raise it. Most modern cars have a pinch weld instead of a frame. A pinch weld is basically a thin piece of metal that runs along the entire side of the car and that's where you're going to want to put the jack. The pinch weld is the lifting point. Now a lot of trucks and larger cars and a lot of older cars will have frames and you want to get the jack under the frame but I'll show you the pinch weld right now on this car right here. A lot of cars will also actually have an arrow on the side of the car pointing to where the lifting point is. So like I said, the pinch weld runs along the entire edge of the car, but right here specifically is where the car wants you to put the jack. So now I'll slide the jack in under the car and line it up with that lifting point. And then I'll twist this nut to the right until it's touching the pinch weld. Now at this point, it'll become really difficult to spin this because obviously we're picking up the weight of the car. So this is where your lug wrench is gonna come into play again. So there's actually a couple different ways that the lug wrench will work with your jack. In this instance, there's a nut on the end that's the same size as the socket on the lug wrench. So we can actually just put this on there and spin it. So now I'm just gonna put the socket on the nut and begin to spin this to lift the car off the ground. And obviously if you're having a hard time spinning this like I am, you can then put the, the lug wrench at a 90 degree angle to give yourself some more torque. But then you just gotta avoid the ground that way. So now that the tire's off the ground, we need to take all of the lug nuts off the wheel. So we started loosening them before, but now we gotta pull them all the way off. The best way to do this is going to be taking your lug nut wrench and putting it in a straight line like this. Because then you can put it on 
and just twist this off really quickly. Now, as you're taking the lug nuts off, you wanna be very careful to not lose these. So if you're, like I said, if you're on the side of the road, be careful and make sure you maybe put them in your pocket or put them in your car, but make sure you do not lose these because you need them to put the spare tire back on. Now you're gonna be able to pull the wheel off of the car. Now, be careful with this. Sometimes these wheels can be pretty heavy, um, so you don't wanna drop it or you know get stuck on it or anything like that. So just be careful when you're pulling it off. But you can pull it off and now you can put this to the side. Some cars will have a full spare, which will look exactly like your normal tires. And some cars, this is more common nowadays, will have what's called a donut. So this is not a full spare, and this is not great to drive on for long distances. They say you should only drive on this for about 50 miles. Um, basically, this is just to get you home off the highway or off the road, wherever you are, until you can get your car to a tire shop. The only thing you gotta note here is the five studs on the car. You gotta line those up with the five holes on the tire and just slide it on. Now we'll grab our lug nuts again and we'll start to thread these on. So now I've put all these lug nuts on finger tight and I'm gonna get my lug wrench here again. So we're just gonna tighten them a little bit, then we'll put it down and then we'll tighten them finally. And now as you're tightening the lug nuts, you wanna make sure that you tighten these in a star cross pattern. This will help you torque down the lug nuts evenly and distribute the pressure among all of the bolts and prevent you from ruining any of the bolts or the lug nuts. So like I said, from here, you would wanna put the jack back down and that's the same thing as putting it up, just twisting to the left instead of to the right and uh, finish tightening up these lug nuts. You can tighten them down pretty hard with this lug wrench because uh, you want to make sure that that is securely on there to make sure you get home safe. Obviously, you want to make sure that you put all your tools back into your car and get your flat tire and make sure that's in there as well. But other than that, you're gonna be all set to go get your tire repaired. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and definitely subscribe if you're not because we have a ton of really great, helpful tutorial content about general maintenance for your cars, certain repairs like changing a spare tire and all sorts of stuff like that. So make sure you subscribe if you're not. And while you're down there next to that subscribe button, you'll see a blue join button. So you can go ahead and click on that to learn more about our membership programs. We've got a lot of really cool, really fun stuff, lots of benefits for you guys down there. Uh, so make sure you check that out. If you don't know, that is basically a paid subscription to our channel. That'll provide you with a bunch of really fun benefits and really cool stuff. So make sure you check that out. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.